Working at your job is not how you become a millionaire. That's a trap. This is the biggest thing, actually, that's holding you back from being rich. To reach the status of millionaire, you need to reach millions of dollars. To reach millions of dollars, you need to start doing something radically different in your life. Most people can't do that because their psychology won't permit them. It's their mindsets. It's not even so much about the work they're doing out in the world. A millionaire does the same kind of work that a non-millionaire does, except that a millionaire has a whole different slew of mindsets and habits and practices that are completely night and day from what the average person is doing with their life. If you're coming from a middle class background or a lower middle class background or even poverty, if you're coming from a place where millions of dollars seem like, oh my God, that's amazing. It's impossible to even dream of that. If you're coming from that kind of place, you're going to need radical self-growth to become a millionaire. The reason you're not a millionaire and the reason you're never going to become a millionaire doing what you're doing right now is because basically you're not resourceful enough. Your psychology is not going to permit you to do it. You have too many limiting beliefs. You have too much social conditioning. You have a groove you've set yourself in financially and in other ways. You can't be a victim and be a millionaire at the same time. You have to choose one or the other. Most people aren't millionaires simply for this reason, because they cast themselves as victims. They don't take full responsibility. You have to work on every one of those parts of your life in order to raise yourself up to earn millions of dollars in a sustainable way. You're going to have to work really hard on yourself. This is where people make a mistake. They think they're going to work really hard on their job. They're going to work really hard on their career. And then that's going to produce millions of dollars. Working at your job harder is not how to become a millionaire. That's a trap. I'm not saying you should quit your job right now. Just realize to become a millionaire, it's going to take a lot more. It's the mindsets. It's not the external circumstances. It's the inside. Here, you have this little subconscious thermostat level which has you pegged somewhere. Either way, you have to become self-employed. It's not going to work staying at your job. This is another reason why most people will never become millionaires. They're just too afraid to leave their job. And they're too afraid to face the risk of not having money to pay the bills. When you become self-employed, you quickly realize that it doesn't work that way. When you're self-employed, it's all about value. How much value can you give the other person? You're going to have to start to worry about legal issues, marketing issues, logistical problems, employment problems, all these sorts of business issues. All of them come into play. You have to worry about economics and paychecks. That's the stuff you have to worry about on top of whatever work you're doing. That's all added on top of the workload you've already got. It can be very challenging going through all that stuff. That's why most people will never do it. The upside is that if you do do it, then you can position yourself very nicely to be earning a lot more than you would have if you'd been working at that 9 to 5. Right now, if you're working a 9 to 5 and you have a dream of becoming a millionaire, you have to start asking yourself, how do I make the transition? Start to look for different strategies and techniques that you can use. Opportunities you can use to start to move yourself out of that. You have to start keeping an eye out for it. Your 9 to 5 isn't going to do it for you. And you're not going to become a millionaire by doing something that's low value. High value means high return. Low value, low return. That means if you're creating a product or a service or you're writing a book or you're performing at a concert or whatever your line of work is, that has to have a big influence on a large number of people. The more people you can influence with your work and the more powerful your work is, the more people will love your work. The more remarkable your work is, the more chances you have of generating that massive value you need in order to charge people enough money to be getting millions of dollars back in return. This is a tried and true principle of wealth and wealth building. Value equals wealth. As a millionaire, your eye is always going to be on value. How do you create more value for the world? How do you create more value for a customer base, for your fan base? That's what you've got to work towards. 
That's what you have to think about when you're an entrepreneur. If you're very serious about becoming a millionaire, then you have to adopt all these ideas. You have to go out and find even more. You have to take this, you have to embody it. You have to start to live it. You have to start to work on yourself and transition yourself out of your job into a business.